Hi, I'm Patty George, member of Team Phenomenal Hope, and more importantly, pulmonologist at UPMC. I want to talk to you about the importance of safe exercise and pulmonary rehabilitation in pulmonary hypertension. Everyone knows about the important role that exercise can play in any person's health and lifestyle. However, for a person with pH, it can mean so much more. Routine exercise can make an enormous difference in lifestyle, mental and emotional happiness, and maximizing physical potential. pH patients that have incorporated exercise into their routine frequently report that they are able to do more and feel better, both physically and emotionally. For someone living with pH, it can mean the important difference between taking what the disease gives you or regaining an important measure of control. My name is Linda Selleck. I am 66 years old and I've had pulmonary hypertension for the last three years. It, it, it's all very much a shock to you as an individual to go from one day being able to do everything to all of a sudden being able to do nothing. I try to keep my life as normal with the pulmonary hypertension as it was before the pulmonary hypertension. And one of the things that I personally came up with was to dress my tank up to give it some personality. Um, it's helped me laugh and it has helped other people laugh. I have found that the pulmonary hypertension and having to take an oxygen tank with me has not made it impossible for me to do anything that I want to do. I find that if I become a couch potato, then being anything other than a couch potato is difficult. If you, I try to make it a point every day to do as much motion as I can do. I, um, I, I, I try to park further away from where I need to go so that I have to walk to get there. I don't care if it takes me three times longer because my steps are slower, because my breathing is harder. Pulmonary hypertension does not necessarily have to change your life drastically. I, I pretty much find if you're determined enough and you're willing to push yourself enough and you're willing to listen uh, to your body, you can still go on and live a normal life doing a lot of what you do. You may not be able to do it at the pace you did it at uh, or the speed that you once had, but, but you can get there. It's true, an active lifestyle can be transformational for a pH patient, but what goes into that lifestyle depends on your condition. Some patients may walk, run, or ride their bikes miles every day, while others may be more active in playing with their grandchildren. But it's critical to remember that it must come with close and expert supervision. Without proper guidance, pH patients can become short of breath even under mild to moderate exertion. And exercise can induce fainting, excess stress to the right side of the heart, and other problems. Not surprisingly, the degree of your symptoms can make a big difference in the range of your activity. And all that can change over time. So it's important to work closely with your pH specialist. And for many patients, central to all of that is cardiopulmonary rehabilitation. An effective rehab program will not only give you the foundation and training for your exercise program, but also will teach you valuable techniques for energy conservation, nutrition, breathing strategies, symptom management, even counseling and group support. So get started. Talk to your specialist and map out a program that works for you and feel the difference that being active can make.